Okay, we have the tailings pond at Quenelle Lake, the Polly Mine. See British Columbia, it's kind of right in the middle of BC there. We'll kind of zoom in on it and have a look at its dimensions, first of all. There have been some talk in the media that quite a large amount of up to four, four billion cubic meters, which is highly unlikely, that's four cubic kilometers. Anyways, it got toned down to more like 14 million cubic meters, which is probably closer to the truth. If you measure around, you see this white line measuring around the uh, the, pole, the, the, the pond itself. Uh, if we click on that just to get its dimensions. Yeah, there we go. Get info. Measurements of this path, 4.99 kilometers, 5 kilometers around the lake. So let's just assume it's a circle. Uh, it's quite a bit less than a circle, of course. So, uh, but if you multiply the the uh, area of that times a depth of about 20 meters, let's say, for, you get around 12 and a half million cubic meters, which is which is in in the ballpark for for what was uh, what was spilled in the breach. Anyhow, the uh, the dam seems to have been breached on this very high section of, of the wall around the pond uh, here and it went into this low low area down this creek valley here and you can see video of it cascading through this little canyon here but eventually it makes it into this main stream course here and heads down to down to Quinnell Lake uh, where it comes into Quinell Lake, you can see this, this delta-shaped area right here with uh, the present-day effluent coming down the stream. There's quite a bit of sediment dumped by this stream on a regular basis because that's, uh, that's an alluvial fan form there, and that's uh, typical of a high sediment load in a, in a mountain setting. So it's pouring quite a bit of sediment into the lake. So the lake has been receiving sediment there. So. How far is all this from the town of Likely? Well, we can measure that quickly enough. Let's see, go and measure the ruler here. Make a path uh, and measure from, let's just say, the head of the lake down to where the fan delta is, uh, which is right there. It's almost 13 kilometers. So there's quite a bit of lake between the, the outlet of Quinell Lake into the Quinell River system. So now if we look at the Quinell River, we see that it's no stranger to sediment sediment transport. We'll just get in a vertical view so we can see see into the river valley itself. Now here you can see it's a fairly clear flowing river at this in this picture, but it is a high gradient river, and that means that it will flow fast during flood periods. And if we go down to a place where it joins up with, uh, I think I think maybe that's the Caribou River. Not sure, but we go to Quinell Forks. Here we see another uh, we see another uh, delta structure right here. You know, so there's been a lot of sediment moved by this river uh, during high flow, and this section of the river is a typical braided stream, lots of bed load sediment. Uh, there's a there's a big floodplain right there with lots of overshoot channels and so on and so forth. So this this river is no uh, no stranger to sedimentation. And, you know, during lower flows, it most clearly would be good salmon spawning grounds. But, you know, at some, time, at some phases in time, it's going to have a high sediment load. And that's sort of typical of the whole system right into the Fraser River, I'm sure. So, you know, if you look at the, the circumstances at, uh, at the, the Pauley Mine, uh, it's, you know, cut into a mountaintop here. And there's lakes on both sides of it. Uh, the amount of sediment... And the amount of toxins, with the amount of dilution available in, in Quinell Lake, which is quite large, 40, 40 cubic kilometers of water in this lake. You can see how big it is. Uh, nearby Horsefly Lake isn't affected by this because it's in a different watershed. Anyway, uh, I, think, I think we're going to find that once they do a bunch of testing and so on afterwards, that they're going to find that, that uh, this is not as nearly as serious a uh, matter as it could have been especially if it had gone, say, directly into the Quinell River, which it has not.